So, today I'm letting you guys know the fastest way of upgrading your um, Devourer weapons. Uh, so yeah, before I continue on with the video though, before I get into it, uh, be sure to subscribe, it really helps out a lot. Like the video while you're at it as well. Uh, I thank you for the support on uh, one of my latest videos uh, with the other uh, family that's gone this video, at least one of my latest videos. Uh, what I got from 15 Mugen trains is currently sitting at more than 20,000 views, which is quite a lot for me. So I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. So to quickly upgrade your polar weapons, you're going to want, uh, or your devour weapons, sorry, not polar, devour weapons, you are going to want uh, the devour armor. You're going to want the devour mask, the devour top, and the devour bottom. The mask is from tier 5 chest, which is 0.5%, so this is the easiest of the lot to get. I didn't get this, I got this through trading. Uh, but the mask, or the top and the bottom are from Mugen Train at a 0.5% drop. I do not have these, so I'm not getting it in the most efficient way. However, if you do have all of these, you will be then be getting... You, if you have all of these equipped, you will be getting a 100% blood multiplier. Plus, they also give some good stats, so, you know, you might as well equip them anyway. Then you can just mix that with the Devourer Elixir, which gives you blood generation times 2. So, basically, you're going to be getting 200% instead of that 100% with the armor. That is bought with Roybox. It's currently 100 Roybox, so you can't use ores or anything to buy it. But you can also get it from daily spins. So, yeah, that's, that is the quickest way to upgrade Devourer weapons. I'm going to go through this. Uh, I currently only have a mask on, uh, which gives me a 20% blood multiplier. And I'm currently sitting at 18,238. There you go, just made a note of that so I can remember once I do this run. Uh, so yeah, basically just do Uga Howard Dungeons and you'll get that pretty quickly. Especially if you have the full pot, uh, the full Devourer set and the Essence on it as well, you'll get it done pretty quickly. So yeah, let's just go see with only Mask on, uh, just see what we get. Also, there has been a little mini update as well. Uh, where there's new titles, so now there's uh, these ones for the dungeons. So you just need to basically complete them with 10 minutes uh, on them. There's this one which you need to do 5004, but these also increase your drop rate, so definitely, definitely go in dungeons. So that is the dungeon over, we survived for 11 minutes and 23 seconds, uh, we got 2.6 thousand points, uh, and if we go to the Devourer fans, we now have 18,404, which we started off on 18,238, meaning we gained about just less than 200, I'm not going to work out the exact, but we're talking about like what, 180, something like that. Which isn't too bad, especially for it's this fact that it only took us 11 minutes. Plus, if you've got the full Devourer set, you'll do it a lot, lot quicker. Along with the push as well, you'll get through that so quickly. They don't take long, they're not that hard, especially if you're good and you have a group as well. Maybe if you're better than me, which you probably are, you'll get it done a lot easier. But yeah, that's how to get um, Devourer uh, weapons maxed out. Get it to tier 3 as quick as possible. Obviously, you don't just need that uh, blood. You also need um, money and uh, the, the, this drop that you get from Mugen Train. But yeah, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let's just see what we got. I did see that mythical hat up here. Yeah, we didn't get anything too great. Got that lantern again, I guess. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. If it did, be sure to like, subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.